here in Oaxaca with Manuel, who's going to show me the whole process for raising cochineal. So the first step is to cut the cactus that they live on? Yes, it's necessary only cut for this area. So after you cut it, you need to dry it and then you can use it in the greenhouse? Yes. Each of these spots, something new would grow from? Yes. Maybe one plant, one root, yeah. or maybe one fruit. You like to see how to clean the nopal? Yeah. To safely handle the cactus, they carefully brush it to remove all the tiny prickles. It's more easy. Yeah. Touch. So these are now ready for the cochineal then? Yes. Once the cactuses are harvested and cleaned, it's time to introduce the bugs. 200 eggs and 20 females in one pouch can yield up to 40,000 hatchlings. This one. Good? That, exactly. All right. The eggs in place, we then attach it to the cactus leaf. Normally, the cycle of the cochineal is three months. When the baby born, mm -hmm. the baby uh, get out of the net mm -hmm. and walk on the nopal for, okay. two, for two days. Okay, they come out of the, the holes? Yes, uh -huh. and, and they start to eat. They start to absorb the juice of the okay. nopal. Metabolize and transformate in a red solution. The color of the cochineal is not the blood because the insect don't have a blood. Uh -huh. No? Okay. The, the solution and the chemical name mm -hmm. is carminic acid. Carminic acid? Yes. Okay. This carminic acid is protect mm -hmm. to the another microorganisms. Yes. Okay. The male is, is very different. Yeah and transform it in a little mosquito. But only the male turns into a fly? Only, yes, oh. only the male. The male in outside only live three or five days. Okay, so they just reproduce and then die? It's time to party. <laughs> 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 and the male, the quantity of the color is very tiny. It's nothing to risk to me. So all the color is from the females? Yes. Okay. It can take up to 140,000 bugs to add up to enough for one kilogram of usable dye. And, and I obtain mm -hmm. this kilogram for 600 or 1,000 cactus. The cochineal, do they only eat the cactus? That's the only thing they eat? Yes, only the nopal. Yeah. Not exists in another plant. So after they fed on the cactus for three months, what do they look like? Would you like to see? Yeah. Please. So how do you harvest these guys then? It's very simple. Yeah. <laughs> I, I take the nopal and use the brush. Mm -hmm. Ah, so how many are usually on and on one cactus leaf like this? Maybe I collect three grams. Three grams? The three or four grams. Can I try? Yes, yes, yes. It's... Ah, very gently? Yes. come up pretty easily. <laughs> Carefully. <Okay. laughs> the harvested cochineal bugs need to dry out for several days, and then it's time to process them. This is a cochinilla parasite. This is a dry cochinilla. Check it now. Many people think this is an insect. Yes, but this is a dry insect. Right. I sh I'm shall now. Sorry. Oh. <laughs> cochinilla alive. Uh, I have this cactus, but in Oaxaca, for one village, the name is San Bartolo, uh, cultivate the the the. In the village, cultivate and sell the it's cochinilla. Alive. And check it out. This is a live cochinilla. Look at little mm -hmm. white point ah, is a cocoon. The bag. Okay. Each people have a different pH. Send me your hands. Okay. Your other finger, squeeze it and see now your pH. Each people <laughs> have a different pH, maybe alkaline. Here, like. Okay. Squeeze it. You do your Yes. Okay. Squeeze it. Yeah. yeah. 
Moving, moving, that's okay. Okay, you. Okay, okay. Look, this is your pH. I'll hold it. I'll put it in my lap. Oh, it's okay. I want to see. Okay. You'll see what color. Oh, look at your color. Okay. Ooh. A little bit more. Even more. Play now to change okay. the pH and see now the color from the acid. Oh, then we're really good at alkaline. Okay. <laughs> I've got clean. Okay. <laughs> That's funny. That's amazing. Uh -huh. That's cool. <laughs> this is a, the sheets, but. The, Carding and spinning to silk. Right. My husband used a silk work. Right, right, right. Silk. Right. Touch the quality. Oh. And see delicious. the difference. Yes, yes. It feels so good. Yeah. Feels silk. Is this the same silk as they use in Asia? Yes. The silk my husband buys in Oaxaca, the mountains in Cajonos area. Really? Do so they have guys, silk ones? But it's a small one. Right. Um, uh, it's the cocoons. See. Uh -huh. Yes. So I'm used now a little cochinilla. Oh good. Uh -huh. I'm use my finger to to spin it and make the yard like this. This no? And in this moment I'm use a little water to see to change the pH. Right, right. Checking out. I'm using a little cochinilla. Okay. And use a little wool. This is in a basic color. Look at But I use a little baking soda and sea salt. Is this? Wow, there you go. Wow. This is acid. Look, mm -hmm. this mm -hmm. color is acid. Mixing baking soda and sea salt. Right. And I'm using some water and checking now. We use an other bowl. And I'm used now a Hamex volcanic stone. This is and rock limestone and alum. Alum. Mm -hmm. Alum and rock limestone. I'm moving now. Oh, totally different. Oh, wow. wow. It's like magic. <laughs> this is alkaline and this is acid.
Black insects are a species of insects that are perhaps the most common commercially important, being a main source of lac resin, which can be refined into shellac and other products. They are also a produce of dye, wax and natural secretions. They live their life by using proboscis, mouth shaped, suck nutrients from the tree and release the gooey golden yellowish liquid or resin covered their bodies as a protection from enemies. When this resin touches the air, it will become a solid covered around the tree branch where they live, sometimes the solid called stick lac. Millions of people are engaged in farming of lac insects. It is a versatile product used in a wide array of applications and demand for it in many industries provide economic resources such as house paints, colours, shellac, lacquer, dyeing colour, floor wax, shoe polish, papers and inks, medical industry, medical supplies.